Brentech, yeah, where tech is made simple. So just a quick information video to give you a heads up that if you are an insider testing builds in the beta channel, that Microsoft has recently announced an off-ramp for Windows insiders in the beta channel. Now, I think the whole reason for giving you an option to opt out of the beta channel uh, is because we are expecting to see the next moment update, moment 2, roll out for Windows 11 22H2. And uh, that could be over the next couple of days. And if we don't see it over the next couple of days, um, uh, it is suggested that Microsoft will roll that out next month in March. Now, um, this off-ramp, according to Microsoft, will give you a window if you are a beta channel insider to uh, basically choose whether you want to test beta builds um, or if you want to opt out of the insider program and then update to the stable channel. And that will be um, when the next Patch Tuesday update rolls out for the stable channel, which will be the 14th of March next month. So that's the second Tuesday. And there's also a good indication that moment two, if it doesn't roll out over the next couple of days, we will see that roll out um, on Patch Tuesday as well next month in March. So um, that's, I think, the whole reason why Microsoft now is giving you the option to opt out. Now, to unenroll from the Insider program, as many of you will know, um, you head over to your settings, Windows Update. Now, I'm not an insider, but if you do click on the Windows Insider program, as many of you will know, settings, Windows Update, Windows Insider program page, yeah, if you go through the options, you will see a option stop getting preview builds. So you'll need to uh, obviously um, check that option stop getting preview builds. And basically what will happen after that, um, according to Microsoft, um, is that uh, a troubleshooter then will appear and run and will unenroll the device from uh, receiving new flights in the beta channel and uninstall the enablement package. And then once uh, the troubleshooter finishes, then you'll have to restart and reboot your device. And, uh, and that will obviously complete the process and move you out of the beta channel and then move you back to the stable version. And just take note that after that, your device will no longer receive new insider preview builds from the beta channel, obviously. Now, um, just to take note of a couple of things here. Um, if we just head to the release notes, here we can see this is last week's beta channel builds that rolled out. And uh, um, that's build 2261 and 2263.1325. And here's that new announcement off-ramp for Windows insiders in the beta channel, as mentioned. And I'm just doing a quick summary for you today in this video. Now, um, basically what will happen here is that this off-ramp, according to Microsoft, will only apply to insiders who, who chose the option to unenroll the device and are currently on build 2261 and 2263.1325. If you are um, trying to unenroll and you are using an earlier build in the beta channel, you will not be able to. So just take note of that and that means you'll have to upgrade uh, to the latest uh, builds as you can see in, in the release notes and only after you've upgraded to, and updated to these current builds that rolled out last week will you be able to unenroll your device. So just take note of that. And um, this, this whole process is taking place and has already started, as mentioned, um, on the 23rd of February. So that was uh, yesterday in my region and will continue until the 8th of March. So if we just head back to the calendar, 8th of March will be uh, the second Wednesday um, of March next month, 2023. So if you want to unenroll, you need to opt out before that date, the 8th of March. So just take note of those things. If you're wanting to unenroll and move on to the stable version and receive Moment 2 and then just carry on, obviously, um, using the stable version and continue to receive the normal monthly Patch Tuesday and uh, optional bug fix release updates running the stable version of Windows 11. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.